Speaking of a year ago, we all know it was a year ago, North Myrtle Beach, for instance, like so many places up and down the Grand Strand, was really impacted by the Category 1 Hurricane Ian. City's reporting, I guess, 1,659 properties were damaged. News 13's Adriana Cotero, she's live for us right now in Cherry Grove. That's an area that saw everything. They saw the, the high storm surge, the gusty winds, the flash flooding, the pier got wrecked up. Now, Adriana, you spoke with some first responders. What do they remember most from Hurricane Ian? Aaron, reflecting back on when the storm hit, responders say rescue efforts lasted several hours long and they pulled out all their resources and assets to get people to safety. I think we all remember uh, a hurricane in our past that sometimes each call, like Ian, may hit home. Seeing the despair of people's houses and livelihoods being ripped away from them hit home for North Myrtle Beach Rescue Squad's Daniel McGinnis. He responded during the storm and witnessed the devastation. Officials reported the city had $13 million in damages, 82% being single-family residential homes and 13% multifamily homes. A total of 317 permits were issued with inspections carried out. Of that, 283 are residential and 34 are commercial. A lot of the homes in uh, North Myrtle Beach, Cherry Grove area are up on stilts. They're built up off of the ground. But Cherry Grove is an older part of the town as well, so there are still a lot of homes, single-level homes that are built flat on the ground. Uh, and those were the homes that we evacuated some of those folks out of. Boat captain with the rescue squad, Lance Barnes, says they used their high-water rescue truck for evacuation. But when the water was too deep, they put their search and rescue vehicle vessel to use for the first time. Uh, and it was very beneficial and very helpful uh, in getting some residents out of their homes during the height of Ian. City Emergency Manager and Fire Chief Billy Floyd says working alongside neighboring partners benefits the community, especially during storm conditions like this. According to Chief Floyd, storm surge reached four feet, wind gusts up to 70 miles per hour, and flash flooding. We dealt with storm surge up there for several hours where we had our personnel on patrol uh, doing a few evacuations, some rescues of people stranded in vehicles, uh, some people who were stranded in their homes. This all came after a big complication. No evacuation order being issued within the necessary 36 hour window. Chief Floyd says at that time there were no major implications, but then the forecast started changing. Uh, so we dealt with a lot more traffic out on the roadways of people getting stuck in these flooded roadways that really kind of hampered our responses, tying up fire and police units. Uh, all of these storms that we're able to get through and, and respond just helps us better prepare for the next one. City officials say 80% of the damages have since been repaired. As for the beach erosion and damage to the sand dunes, the United States Army Corps of Engineers is in the design phase of their beach renourishment program that's scheduled for next year. Reporting live in North Myrtle Beach, Adriana Cotero, News 13. Thank you, Adriana.